what's going on guys, this is Carnage the Tonic here, now today what we're bringing you is a SAC 3 DNA bomb, um, I haven't actually, like, made any DNA with every gun episodes, I know Scott had literally every single one but one gun, which I've gone and done, the PDW, uh, we literally had every single gun done, um, but we just kind of haven't really been posting them much, like, we, we just forgot about them, I've either been doing other edits or different commentary styles or things like that, and I'm going to be bringing them back, um, we've still got the AMR9, the MK14, um, the SN6, what other guns have we got left, um, the PDW, and then I think we're pretty much done, I think we've only got, f oh, the Ohm, I know I've only got a DNA with the Ohm, but my recording messed up, so I'm going to wait for the next DLC to come out, then I'll go and get it, again, uh, when everyone's using the Ohm, like, and then I actually get the Ohm on my DLC, because if you don't know, I have the season pass, and it's supposed to go across all the accounts, like, all the DLC goes across the accounts, but the DLC guns that you get early only go onto the account with your season pass. And I was really bummed out because I bought the season pass to get the early gun DLC. And then it won't let me have it because my DLC, my my gun is, my account is banned that has the season pass on it. Um, it's my main like, PS4 account and it got banned. Um, so I can't use the guns until I download the DLC. Uh, but it's, it's not that bad. But... Basically, today what I'm going to be talking about is shit world records, or crappy world records, or things like that. Gameplays, they get titled worlds first, and I know a lot of people do it for exposure, and I'm not ripping on someone, but it's just my opinion on them, and the way I see it. And, like, growing up through the pub zombie community, I have changed so much over the course of a year and a half, um, from when I was a very small person, when I even ran my own clan, which didn't really do great at all, um, to actually growing up and now I'm in Carnage and I'm one of the bigger influences on the pub stomping community uh, with the whole unique side. We influence everyone on unique pretty much now. I mean we were influenced by other people like Pure, Pred, Wreck, um, well actually no, Pure and Pred, I definitely say probably Pure mostly because uh, he was the one who pretty much decided to make unique and then um, my friend Pred took it on and me and Harry or Wreck and Dan and all of these guys on Xbox, we were all a very close group of friends, we took on Unique, and uh, we kind of grew from there, but pretty much, um, the way I see it is that there's two ways to look at it, okay, so if you title something a world record, it's more likely to get views, okay, it is a lot more likely to get views, for the simple fact that it's a world record, like, if it, it's got a, a huge, like, more people will be drawn to it, the moment they say world record in the title, they're instantly drawn to it, whereas, when they see um, something like, so let's take one of our gameplays. I mean, I could have made, I, on Isotonic, we could have, I don't know how many world records, it'd probably be in the high double digits. For the simple fact that we do unique, we do everything, like literally, I see people, like for example, the no weapon kill vicious we posted earlier in the week. I got this a couple of months ago. And then someone got it and they posted it the next day and they titled it Worlds First. And the way I see that is that it's not, te like technically, if, they, if I wanted to claim the title, I could have posted it the next day. And I've kind of come to the realisation that if you post things world record, that the only way that I can really see something should be a world record is if a lot of people are going for it. If, like the quad DNA, when loads of people were going for the quad DNA, there were people like um, Vaults, Clues, Buffalo, Dark, Stomp, all these pub stompers across loads of different clans, Omar, all these guys who were going for the quad, and um, they, they didn't get it apart from Volts. And Volts can take that because he was being competed with. And it was like, so say you've got Usain Bolt in the 100 meters. He gets the world record for the fastest 100 meters. But the only reason it like, counts firstly because it's official and it's in race conditions. Because he's competing with other people. He's competing to get that title with other people. If it's a one man race, you, you, it can be all, you can't really say it counts because you're not being challenged, you're just the first person that came up with the idea. And uh, the other way of looking at it is that it makes you kind of, it lowers your status in a sense. I, I learned this the hard way um, when like, so basically I remember when I ran my channel back when it was Calamity um, and I remember one of the first gameplays that I got in the pub stomp community was a, uh, a Chem Strike with the Inferno camera. I remember co titling that video World's First Inferno Camo Chem in Hardcore. And I, 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 I don't know why I did it. Um, and 
Like, I mean, back then when you're smaller and the standards were so much lower than the standards were ridiculously low. Now you look at these clans, the little clans, they've got crazy players. But back then, standards were quite low and I, I just saw that as a world record. I was like, oh, all these people are taking camo chems as world records. Why don't I take one in a different game mode or something like that? And looking back at it now, I wouldn't ever do something like that. Like all these hip fire DNAs. Um, oh, by the way, if you post a hipfire DNA that's an EM1, I'm sorry, that doesn't count as hipfire, as far as I'm aware, like, as far as I care, because that thing's a laser beam, that thing has no spread, but uh, away from that, like, all these hipfire DNAs, ADS DNAs, no weapon kill, viciouses, all these things we got before everyone else did, and yet we didn't post them as a world record for the simple fact that we didn't really feel like we needed to, we didn't feel the need to, I mean, all, all to you if you do, but it's just my opinion on it. So let me know what your opinion on is on it. I mean, for me, 100% type setting a world record is crazy, like world type is flawless or something like that. But um, just let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Please drop a like on the video as well. Uh, thank you for all the support you're giving us, especially while I'm away and I can't make videos. Um, but I hope you have a great day, guys. I'll see you in the next one, and adios.